guys, we're back. Um, for my YouTube, if you're seeing this episode, like you know, a door. I'm gonna put the ones that I'm missing. I think I still have them. Lugia? I admired your work with the Princess of Drossel. You did a great job. Are they, am I supposed to know them? I read all about that too. I'm Are they past characters? Violet. You're really inspiring. Something wrong? No, no, no. There's no way. I think. Thank you very much. Are you okay? You seem a little down. Like they don't look familiar at all. <laughs> By the way, I don't remember, and I still can't tell. Is she a, a cyborg robot, or no? She's a human, but, like, she was just, like, you know, like, what's the word? Was that a guy or girl? What's, a, what's wrong with this pouty-ass boy or girl? I can't tell. I was going to say, she going to be single, all right? All right. Don't blush. If, if, if he blushes again, bro, I'm going to smack this shit. If you're unable to keep up with me, that he's a fat. I'm afraid you're useless to. Yes, I'm. So okay, you see, like, is she a ro? She's a robot. Then show me what you can do. The arrow of light pierced mightily through. The oh no! I thought he was gonna read fast and shit. His reading's ass, bro. I read fast. Barbarossa, according to an astrologer named Ariadna, the arrow of light was considered to be a very bad omen. After it passed, the plague spread, bringing about the death of the king, which shook the country. Saint Barbarossa wow, that looks insane. Pierced with the arrow of light, which separated his body and soul. I would have gotten like five words. But that's crazy. She's typing it the same time as like he's saying it. <laughs> oh hell no! The whole day. Imagine just typing the whole day. Look, <laughs> he's his throat is gone. Pause. We were just able to complete three days worth of work. Whoa. Work pace is very efficient. I know that. Oh my God, he's so annoying. He's one of those, bro. One pair has actually finished three days worth of work already. Please keep up the good work tomorrow as well. Yes, you're right. But I question whether or not I'm worthy you, of this wonderful work. You are. more. No, no. That work is not worthy of you, bro. I know I'm glazing, but you know, it's true. What are you trying to say? <laughs> that I feel bad at Leon's apartment. <laughs> we all know he's insufferable. Oh, <laughs> She's, she doesn't talk shit. She would never do that. Hey, yo. Also, she's human. No, you're wrong. I'm merely stating the truth. Yo. Yeah, she doesn't defend him because, but he, he just she's stating facts. You know what I mean? So he better not get a a, a big head. Did you find the book you and think oh she cares about it? Yeah. Are you angry about something? No, I'm not. But yet. Like a beige. But, um. I'm told that I'm expressionless. That's just how I look. It, he is insufferable. And, it, you know what I mean? Like, bro, there's no reason. You and I are a bit similar. Bro, I, hey, I don't like what's going on. What I don't like what's happening. She actually said that she thinks I'm cute. Uh, of course. I mean, you do just look like a normal girl, you know. Normal? 
<laughs> Normal? Just a girl. Don't you want to see it? If His dick? Every 200 years, it won't oh. happen again in your lifetime. I I'm talking about Allie's comet. The comet that we transcribed about on our first day. That's right. D don't you want to see it? This guy's insufferable. <laughs> He's wasting the bread, bro. I'll eat that. I'd love to see it. Is that right? I'll meet you at two in the morning. Oh, no, no. Relax, relax. Oh, okay. Look, dude. Dude, hey, you dumbass. She didn't accept that for a date. You know what I mean? She, like, first of all, like, this, <laughs> this pissed me off, bro. What are you saying? I'm not kind at all. I'm not too good with women either. I act so cold with them. Nobody asked. Trauma dumping. Do you remember the conversation you had with the guys at the library? Please say no. Said back there was true, you know. The stuff they said about me and my family. My mother was a wanderer, a traveling entertainer. She would tour around to dance, sing, and perform her. Oh, okay. I, I thought I was saying about some other kind of entertainer. That was when she fell in love with a man from this town and had a child. You? That child was me. Oh, okay. Looking back, I think we were happy as a family. But one day. Oh, <gasps> he went. He was in charge of gathering documents at Shahar. He went to go get the milk and never came back. Or maybe he died. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, he died. Uh, Oh, <gasps> hey, that, that's a L mom. Mother! That's a horrible mom. Like, bro, for, first of all, your your child comes first. She loved my father more than anyone. More than you. So she must have felt that she had no choice. That's insane. Yeah, she never thought about her son that she was leaving. Her. Yeah, nah, the mom's a bitch. I'm sorry. <sighs> He's not wrong. No, El Mom. Actually, I don't have any blood relatives. <gasps> However, Hopefully he... there was somebody else who always took care of me. Yes, yes, talk about it. We're him. separated now, though. Talk about it more. Don't you get lonely being separated? Lonely? That's an emotion I do not understand. Oh, so she's she doesn't miss him? Is this, she's a social pet? No, I'm just kidding. Do you think about that Please person sometimes? Please say every day. Every second. I think about him. Always. <laughs> Doesn't your heart feel heavy when you don't see that Oh, I hate that time? feeling. It does. That's what it feels oh, so she's like human. So that's oh, that, that's what it means? Wow. Oh. You you know what's happening? I think every person she meets, she like learns about I have a question. New emotions. If someone told you that person was in danger during your contract with me. You, you don't know if you could save that person even if you went. Would you still go? Yes. Sorry. I'm being difficult. Oh, cuz of what his mom did. Think you would like my answer? Oh. For me, that person's existence is practically the world itself. <laughs> Without them here, I'd rather be dead. Yo. <laughs> yeah, you got no chance. You got no chance, man. <laughs> I'm at, no, don't tell me he's gonna jump off. Okay, no, you don't have to. <gasps> don't do it, bro.
That means that you must be in love with the Sir, that comment. <laughs> <laughs> getting longer. Damn. I guess this is not where she learns about um being in love. Do you see how beautiful made a decision? I'm gonna travel the world just like you do. I know I could face a lot of danger. I might even die. <laughs> However, <laughs> it's my choice to go down that path. Yes. Then maybe one day we could meet again somewhere under the starry sky. No. We'll both be travelers. Violet Evergarden. Yes. Good for him though. Good for him though. Aww. <laughs> oh, that's sad. <laughs> oh, I feel bad now. If that happens, oh. we watch the stars together again. Yes. And he Red falls Red off. Violet I'm getting anxiety, bro, because, like, this, you don't see that height. <laughs> How likely is it for me to run into her again during my travels? Perhaps only as likely as seeing that comet again. Damn. <laughs> Even so, I'm never going to hesitate anymore. Because she gave me the courage to move forward beyond the doors I used to be locked behind. Wow, yo, yo, our girl's just changing lives, bro. Without not, not even trying. You saw how she got sad because she got she got lonely thinking about you know now she knows. Damn, yo, this enemy's so beautiful, incredible, bro. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Um, if you want more, comment down below. Thank you for the people who be showing love on these. Y'all amazing. And thank you for my Patreons. You'll get the uncut version there. And until next time, peace.